Today's case is unfortunately another one of these cases about young love and pregnancy. Ms. Jones, you and your mother say you are tired of the defendant's denial. He's the biological father of your six-month-old son, and once the DNA results prove your claim, you demand to be reimbursed for Baby Lyric's child care expenses. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Houston, you and your mother believe jealousy over your new relationship has led the plaintiff to point to you as her child's father, and you are convinced the truth will be revealed in court today. Is that correct? Yes, yes Your, Your Honor. Honor. Ms. Jones, where did your relationship with the defendant go wrong? Well, Your Honor, he was so immature that I had to break it up, break it off with him a week before prom. He let everybody in his ear. He doesn't have a brain for himself. Were you boyfriend and girlfriend? Yes, we were boyfriend and girlfriend. In high school? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Houston, do you think for yourself? No. You don't? Who thinks for you? <laughs> yes, you do, honey. Who thinks for you? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I do. You do? Yes, yes. my son thinks for himself. They were... Um, she broke up a few days before prom. It was not a week. It was a week before it prom. Was two, it was two or three days before No, prom. it was a week before prom, Your Honor. We broke it up because she was getting confronted of cheating on me. <laughs> but I ain't never cheated on him. Okay. I have never cheated on him. But once I was... They, I got, his family had him I believe got her. that he was... And that I was the one who was cheating on so him. And it was mainly you and your you're husband. You're right, because me and my joining. daughter were catching text messages coming through your what phone. What text messages? Um, you were um, answering What text your phone. messages? Um, the one about the gentleman asking about, did y'all have a good time last night? It wasn't a and text then you message in my it phone. when my 14-year-old daughter was sitting there? Miss Houston, how did you see text messages in a... High school girl's phone. Because she used to let my daughter use her phone, like, to, to play on. My daughter's, like, um, she's 15 now, but she would let her use the phone at my house, sitting on my couch, because she used no, to come I off, never I let came over no, to my I house never all the time. No, I never let her daughter and use, so she would her, be in the phone. use my phone. She, she would bounce the phone. Wi-Fi off, I never whatever. So, phone. Hold on, one at a time. So once the phone would go off, my daughter would just ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. Well, all of a sudden, she came to me and she said, Mama, you wouldn't believe what came across uh, Ms. Jones's phone. And I was like, what? She said, look. And a, a gentleman said, did you have a good time last no, night? No, God never takes Bottom me. Bottom line is, you're denying their allegation that some man was texting you, some other boy. I don't know why they got there. When idea. you two were dating, were you dating anyone else? No, I was with him. I was faithful to him. So you broke up around prom, the time yes, right before a, prom. A week before prom. When did you find out you were pregnant? I found out June 3rd that I was pregnant. And then, like, once I scheduled the date for my actual appointment to see how far along I was, I was a whole month pregnant. That's when I decided that I didn't know if I was going to tell them because of all the drama that I went through with being with him. And so I knew that they were probably going to deny my baby. Not once. So I waited. Right. So once you told him, or how did you tell him? I told him when I was eight months, because that's... I had to... Told him when you were eight months? Yes. Oh, my yeah. mom. Told no, my she mom called she me on yeah. my phone. Because he didn't have a called phone at the mom. time, Your Honor, because he didn't have a her. job. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Yeah, that's he didn't have a job, so... Houston. Oh, no, actually, yeah. I just said that last week when you No, no, no. She's been... She's been one at a time. One at a time. Your Honor, Your Honor, she's been this like, disconnecting herself this whole time. She's like, I don't... Well, that's between you and Nigel. That's between you yep. and Nigel. So Ms. she Houston, doesn't... have you... You stepped out of the picture. You said it was between her and her, your son. Yes, ma'am, because it's so much drama going on. When you call somebody eight months pregnant and say, hey, um, I just found your number in my old phone, so, hey, um, uh, you, you guys are too much drama. I didn't want to tell you I was pregnant. Hello? Oh, God, I was no, already no, 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 treating no, no. her bad. No, no. Why would she I tell you? That... I was like, I'm eight months pregnant. It's a boy, and it's Nigel's. And then she was like, well, why did you wait so long to tell us? And then I was like, because after all the stuff that I went through with you and your family, I decided that I wasn't sure if I was going to involve you guys. And then, plus, I had a hard first trimester, so I didn't want to involve myself with all that drama. And so then she was like, she was like, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna call you back. And then she called me back and then she was like, is this, are you doing this because of his girlfriend, Savannah? And I was like, what does she have to do with my pregnancy? And then she was like, because that's who he's dating now and she's pregnant also. I was like, yeah, well, that what has nothing to do, to do with, with my baby. my grandson? What does she have to Wait, do with my grandson? Wait, another girl pregnant? Yeah, she didn't tell me until she found that she was pregnant. Yeah, yes, Your Honor, that's how it happened. <laughs> how the heck I'm gonna find know she's pregnant? Facebook, how I know you was dating her? Pregnant, hey. All of a sudden, the phone call came. Really? Yeah. <laughs> because you know these. <laughs> yeah. So like, I just psychologically. <laughs> and you, and, and you, eighteen and years old. And that he's dating her.
with two girls pregnant at the same time. At the same no. time. Well, if you would have known the first one, maybe he wouldn't have did the second one. Oh, well, if you wouldn't, if y'all wouldn't gone through all that drama, if y'all wasn't so drama, you know what? With all that drama, right, I would have told that's y'all. You're not gonna no, 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 no. Or my children, any kind of way. No, no, no. You, that's you, one you, at a time. No. Reaching out. They were the ones who were doing One at a time. I can't hear you all when you're talking at the same time. That's why I told my daughter to stop reaching out to Mr. Houston and his mother because she don't have enough sense to teach her son with respect. Yeah, anyway, they're very and disrespectful. to take care of his own, They were okay? disrespectful the whole time. Even so why would she want to deal with him? They were disrespectful the whole time. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When she said she was pregnant, right. do you believe your son thought it was his child? He didn't know what to think because he, she waited until she was eight months. I mean, what you can't just throw eight months and I'm about to have a baby in a month and expect somebody to jump on ship with you and be like, okay, great, let's go shopping. Your and, Honor, I was... Hold on. And I text and called her, never got a return call. Your Honor, I asked for DNA multiple times, more than three times, because I already knew that me telling them at eight months that I was pregnant, I already knew it was probably going to be like some denial. So I offered the DNA test. And then okay. the mom was like... She so was why like, did the co-worker say somebody else was the baby daddy? What co-worker? The manager said... The manager, the manager your said, honor, "Oh, you're one your of honor, the guys that she's claiming to be your, uh, be her baby daddy." Your honor, the manager wait, told what's the story? <laughs> your she honor, was, what um, wait, what is they talking about? Miss Hasty worked at. Um, one of the managers came in and um, saw Mr. Houston or my son and said that um, is that one of the guys that uh, Miss Jones is claiming to be her baby's father because I guess she's he's one of the few. He said there were multiple men she was claiming yes. were potential fathers. Yes. I'd like to hear from your witness stand, ma'am. Oh, and state your name. Savannah Hasty. Miss Hasty, you are now Mr. Houston's girlfriend. Girlfriend. And you also have a child together. Yes. Okay. When you were working, a coworker told you something about Ms. Jones. Am my, I correct? My manager did. What did they say? He seen Nigel come in and he said, is, it, is this the dude that dated Nakisha? And I said, yeah, that's him. And he was like, the dude told me and that's over there stalking. And he pointed him out to me and was like that. She told him that she, he was the father of her child too. I, I how was, was I even also. supposed to cheat or anything when I was with him the whole time? No, when did I even have time to no, cheat? No, I was working yes, the whole time. She was, I was back, at no, the house. back and forth to your house. house. He came Every to my day. house. So when did yep. I ever have time to cheat? At um, school, all the time we why would the school? store manager just come out of the blue and say something like that? I don't know. That's, she's that's what she's saying. saying. That is all made up, ma'am. I, I wish it was the whole made up, but it's not. I wish it was too. And if they're smart enough, they can do the they can do the math. I was had the oh, baby January twenty sixth. It's not, it's not even but about they can't the math. Even do the it's math. about the multiple no, men you have. No, slept it with. wasn't no multiple men because multiple you men, know that I was with your son okay, the they whole they time. Know, you when did I have time? Let's get some order. Ms. Houston, you just made a very strong allegation. You said that it's not about the timing, it's about the multiple men you were sleeping with. Yes, ma'am. What other evidence do you have that would suggest that Ms. Jones was sleeping with more than one person? When she broke up with my son, she dropped him for another gentleman to go to prom with. When we were actually in the car with her, she answered the phone. There was a gentleman on the other line. She acted like <laughs> she did not hear it. And, um, oh, you got the wrong number? Um... We have um, numerous of people in the family that um, were hearing things. Mr. Houston, have you played any role in Lyric's life thus no. far? None. Have you seen him? No. You've never seen she him? She won't allow us. They never tried. Family One family member, member has seen the uh, baby, and I let her see him willingly. So for them to be like, I won't let them... See the baby. So why would not that has come multiple to him, times? Come and I keep asking him, and every time we set up a date for them to come see the baby, because Nigel can only come by himself. They wouldn't even. They wouldn't even show up. It's the scene is playing out. Is why, as to why babies don't need to have babies. Yes, ma'am, you're right. True. I mean, it's That's just true. playing out. That's true. That is so true. It's like you all are a living PSA. <laughs> uh, uh, no, really, for everyone to see, this is just. So sad. And it's just so disrespectful on so many levels. Mm -hmm. If I closed my eyes, I wouldn't know who was the parent and who was the child. 
Your Honor, this wouldn't be happening if he wasn't trying to get me pregnant, and he admitted to it, so... Mm. He wanted a baby. Well, news flash for you, sweetie. Mm-mm. Someone can't get you pregnant if you protect yourself. Mm. <laughs> and at your age and his age, getting ready for your prom, you should be getting ready to go on to college. Figure out what you want to do with your life. Where are we now with this? Now we've got two children. Miss Hasty's had a baby. You have a baby. Miss Hasty, is Mr. Houston involved in your child's life? Yes. How old is your baby? Six weeks. Six weeks old. Was he there for the birth? Yes. Is he on the birth certificate? Yes. So you've been there for this baby? Yes. But not for Lyric? No. Because I don't know if that's mine or not. And, Ms. Jones, so that's, that's the basis of your suit and why you're suing. Because you're saying you've had to raise the child thus far and all Lyric's needs, financially, you've had to provide. Yes, ma'am. Totaling close to $3,000, $2,000... Like $2,819, ma'am. Have you brought any evidence to support that? Yes, ma'am. Jerome, can you hand me that, please? You submitted to the court a list of receipts as well as the physical receipts for clothes, diapers, food, toiletries, toys, books, totaling $2,819 and and furniture. Yes, of course, we need that. Crib, et cetera, am I correct? Yes, ma'am. You've not gotten one dime of support from Mr. Houston? No, ma'am. You admittedly haven't sent any money? Do you have a job? No, I go to school. What about after school? How in the world do you think you making babies in this world and don't have a job? Who's supposed to take care of them, me? No. <laughs> how, how do you think you cannot have a job? It's what? How do you, what? I can hear called, you. No, it's called excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am? See, we're going to get it right in here today. I don't know who's teaching you, but I'm going to give you a lesson. I'm teaching them. Well, uh, well you're not. Because when I, I say so, when I say something, the answer's not what? I the answer's am. not what? Okay. You didn't teach him. Oh, you didn't teach him correctly. But I am going to okay. today because what he's not going to do is stand in this courtroom and potentially have two children at 18 years of age. Well, maybe if he would no, have known no, about no, that one. No, no, no. Well, no, no. Maybe if he was required mm-hmm. to get a job, mm-hmm. he would have one. Maybe if someone taught education him more that when you... No, 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 honey. You can get your education and work. I've been yes, working since I'm 13 years old. Hold on. No, 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 no. Now we're going we to go to school on both levels because I'll let you do the talking. Okay. It is important for him to get his education. Right. But if he is going to continually sleep with women unprotected and make children in the world, mm-hmm. he's got to have a job. Oh, I, I start, Hold on. I, I started working when I was 13 years old and been working ever since. That baby is how old, Miss Hasty? Six weeks. So how do you take care of the baby? I work. Uh Uh-uh. How is it you think you can't have a job? I didn't say I couldn't have a job. Why don't you have one? I don't know. Are you applying? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And I'm going to show you in just one second. Children need guidance. Sometimes they need tough love. Sometimes they need to be told what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. Sometimes they need the expectations to be here, not lower to there. Let them reach for the stars. Right? Right. When I corrected him, mm-hmm. the next time he responded to me, he did it correctly. Because I corrected him. <laughs> the point is, he, it is possible for him to be employed right now. Right. And he should be. We starting a bad pattern. We gonna break today. I'm ready for the results. Me too. Me too. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Jones versus Houston, when it comes to six-month-old Sinclair Lyric. It has been determined by this court, Mr. Houston, you 
are the father. Boom! Miss Jones, Miss Jones, don't don't act silly. Don't act silly in here. Don't. Don't do it. I know you feel somewhat vindicated. I realize that. But this is not a time to perform because this is not a joke. You 20 years old. Mr. Houston is 18 years old. You at 18 years old, you have a six-month-old and a six-week-old and no job. We must change this. Your son, what is your baby, Miss Hasty? A boy or a girl? A girl. So they brother and sister. They deserve an opportunity to know one another, to be able to play together. I saw that look. That's his sister. That's okay. A- and he deserves an opportunity to know his sister. He do. So don't do that look when I'm talking. Ms. Thomas, you claim you're involved in a love triangle that has resulted in the defendant denying your seven-month-old son, Jeremiah. Yes. You've petitioned the court for a paternity test to prove that he is the father so he can stop living a double life. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hadley, you say your current relationship with Ms. Stallworth is in jeopardy because Ms. Thomas is convinced you are the father of her child. Yes, Your Honor. But you say you have hard evidence to prove that you are not the biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Thomas, why is he denying your son? I don't know, Your Honor. I just know that he... We're in a love triangle between me and, and Tyler, and this is just going on for way too long. He keeps denying my son, but he's still around him all the time. He acts to, like a father towards him when he's with me, and then he goes to Tyler and acts like he's not. I don't, I don't act like a father towards the child at all. Yes, he does. You, why do you think he's denying... He's denying for Tyler. She manipulates him to make him feel guilty for staying around me and my son all the time and not being around her and her daughter. You say when Ms. Stallworth is not around, Mm -hmm. he's a good dad to Jeremiah. Yes. He's there. Yes. He treats him like it's his child. Yes. Explain. Well, when he... He doesn't watch him. However, if he's crying, he'll go to him, pick him up, make sure he doesn't fall off the bed. He'll give him his bottle. When I make his bottle, he'll give it to him, make sure he's drinking his bottle. He'll make sure he's... He put him to sleep. Well, with all due respect, Your Honor, um, I don't think anyone would just let a child fall off the bed. (laughs) He's the one that stands up by the crib and pats his back the whole time until he falls asleep. Do you spend quality time with Jeremiah like that, Mr. No, no quality time, but, you know... If uh, Miss Thomas is busy doing something, uh, yeah, I'll pat the back of the child to get the child to, you know, stop yelling. There's times when I'm laying in the bed and he's patting his back. So, Miss Thomas, you submitted a photo to the court. Yes. That's Mr. Hadley with Jeremiah? Yes. Oh, it's a beautiful picture. Thank you. And that's you, right, Mr...? Yeah, but I didn't fall asleep like that. Yes, he did. (laughs) No. Yes, he did, Your Honor. He was holding him. He's uh-huh. gonna wake up and not let so me take the picture. So what are you saying? She placed the baby there? That's, That's exactly a lie. And took the picture? No, Your Honor. First, what I want to know is the, the relationship. Talk to me about the nature of this relationship. I was friends with Mrs. Thomas before, you know, me and... But was it friends with benefits? Was it friends and you were having sex as yes, well? Yes, Your Honor. I mean, let's lead... be clear in court. It didn't lead to sex until way later on. But I, you did have a sexual relationship with her. Yeah. Did you use protection when you had sex? Um, the first time. Only two times. Out of all of them, twice. Take me to this pregnancy. You tell Mr. Hadley you're pregnant. Yes. When you find out. hmm What do you say? I told him I was pregnant. I even sent him a picture of the pregnancy test as well. He asked me if I was keeping it, and I said yes. That was the end of it. The next day is when he started doubting it. The same day I told him was the day he told Mrs. Stallworth, and she was all upset about it. And so when you have the baby, do you tell him? Does he come to the hospital? He was there the whole time. He got picked up. He stayed for the whole 15-hour labor. He was there the whole time, coached me through my my contractions, telling me I need to breathe, everything. There's a picture of me and him. He stayed there the uh, the rest of the day. So, Mr. Hadley... You're, you're there Well, for the honestly, birth. to be honest, I felt a little pressured. He was pressured. You know, no one told him to I come. felt pressured overall. I felt pressured. How did you feel pressure? Who, who was putting pressure on you? Well, number one, her family member brought me to the hospital. So you got her... Someone picked you up and brought you to the hospital? Yeah. All right, and you said, okay, I, I'm gonna go. Yeah, 
you know, out of respect, you know, everything. I'm going, so while I'm there, they're, they're about to name the, um, the child, and she says the child's last name is going to be Hadley. So, you know, she's Jamaican, and her whole family's Jamaican, so it's a whole bunch of Jamaicans in the room, and... <laughs> She's, they, they're like, oh, is the child's last name going to be Hadley? And I'm not going to just they didn't say that. disrespect. He left the room, came back, and I asked him myself, and he said, go ahead and name him Hadley. You said, go ahead and give the child my last name. No. Yes, he so did. So you didn't consent to Jeremiah having the last name Hadley? I, I just didn't disagree due to the fact that her whole family was in the room. <laughs> Why are you so convinced he is your child's biological father, Ms. Thomas? Because around the time where we had sex and the time my doctor told me that I conceived my son. Do you have any evidence to support that? Yes, I have my calendar right here. Jerome, will you hand me this calendar? I had sex on the 19th around 12 to 2 a.m. The doctor told me I can see my son around the 22nd, which does put it in the, in the frame for where, where I would be pregnant. So you had sex with Mr. Hadley on the 19th of April? Yes. And your doctor told you your conception date was the 22nd? Yes. So you believe from that calculation that he is your child's biological father? Yes. M Mr. Hadley, you were intimate with her on the 19th? Uh, yes. Okay. Without protection? Yes. But that week of conception, I wasn't the only guy she had sex with. However, um, the time of conception, the date I had sex with the other guy was Saturday the 26th of April. Oh, so you had... He, okay, wait. <laughs> Hold on. You're saying, Mr. Hadley, you know for certain that she was intimate with someone else, and Ms. Thomas, you are confirming his assertion. Yes. So, 22nd of April is when the doctor says you conceived. So, this is your conception. And this is Mr. Hadley. And when did you have sex with this other guy? I had sex with the other guy on the 26th. However, we also used a condom. Come on, man. We use a condom. <sighs> so, Mr. Hadley, how are you so convinced you aren't when you admittedly slept with her on the 19th, even if this other guy did not protect himself on the 26th? You understand that you're still within the window of conception. Well, we also had a home DNA test done, and the results were inconclusive. You did? Yes. So, you did a home test? Yes. And the results you got back were inconclusive? Yes. So, are you basing a conclusion off of something that's inconclusive? Well... <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> did you bring any evidence of that test? No, I did not. Ms. Thomas? Yes. The test was inconclusive? Yes. Anything can mess up an at-home DNA test. You have to be practically perfect. So, you really don't have an answer at all? No. It just... The test can easily be messed up. You know what? I want to hear from your witness. Uh, please stand, ma'am. I'd like to hear from you. Ms. Stallworth, am I correct? Yes, Your Thank Honor. you for joining us. You're welcome. So, Ms. Stallworth, are you in agreement with Mr. Hadley that this is not his biological child? Yes, Your Honor. And why do you believe that to be so? Because she was sleeping with somebody else around the same time. And that test that with... came... Once. Back inconclusive. And you two are in a relationship, Mr. Hadley and yourself, you all are in a relationship now? Um, no. We're gearing towards a relationship, but this is... There's no gearing towards a relationship when a he's problem. staying with me. He lives with me. He's only... This is the longest since I've moved. No. He's no. been with her for it's... two weeks. That's it. He's Wait a minute. With... You live with Miss Thomas? He lives no, with me. He does not... He no, lives I've with me. He lives I've with stayed me. over her house. He lives with me. But... Lives. I, I don't... He has I don't his clothes at my house. So, hold on, hold on. Your things are with Miss Thomas. They're at her house. Uh, Mr. some Hadley. of them, yes. Some Most of them. them. Yes. Where do you live? Um... Mm hmm With her. No, he doesn't. Now you live with Miss Stallworth. Yes. No. But your clothes <laughs> are at Miss Thomas's. He yes. lives with me. Who are you intimate with right now? Uh, Miss Stallworth. Miss Stallworth. It's yeah. a back and forth. It's been like that for two years. So, Ms. Thomas, when's the last time you were intimate with Mr. Hadley? The couple weeks ago. That's it's a lie. It's not that long ago. That is a lie. 
You're laughing, Miss Stallworth? Because this... She doesn't know. She's not there. She doesn't live with me. I can't say if it's true or not, but from what I'm getting from him, it's not... It's not true. It's not lies. I never even meant for it to even go this far with Mrs. Thomas. But you you were at fault, too, because you were... You're at my house every day, minus these last two weeks. So, Ms. Stallworth, will you continue to pursue a relationship with Mr. Hadley if, in fact, it's determined that he is Ms. Thomas's son's biological father? No, Your Honor. You won't? I won't. No. That's a lie. So, basically, your whole... Rela- this relationship you're working towards is on the line. Because if he's the father of her child, you don't want to be in a relationship with him. Yeah, if uh, Mr. Hadley is the, fa- the father of Ms. Thomas's baby... Me and Mr. Hadley would just co-parent with our daughter and nothing further. He's been trying to... So, you two have a child as well? Yes, we do. We we have a baby girl. How old is your child? Uh, She'll be two in November. And Jeremiah is seven months. Mm -hmm. So, this has been a love triangle that's been going on for a while. Yes. Yes. A long while. And you just go back and forth, Mr. Hadley, depending on whose house you stay in. Yes. Well, it was like whenever... She, She would get mad at me a lot of times and she'll kick me out. For no reason. She's he's so, I had plenty of reason. It, there's Miss Thomas was the reason. There's so many times where he's texting me saying he doesn't want to be there. The only reason why he's there is because she keeps using, oh, you want to be around Miss Thomas and her son more than you want to be around your daughter. So he's up there for these two weeks for a guilt trip. So Mr. Reason. Hadley, do you admit you've just been going back and forth between these two women all this time? I have. So why are you standing there with a smirk on your face like you can't possibly be this child's father when you over there living in the house with your clothes over there and you say you're going back and forth? I have strong evidence. I have strong beliefs. I know. You have strong evidence and strong beliefs. Where is it? I I haven't gotten any of it. Well... I mean, I have... have... An inconclusive DNA test doesn't tell me anything. And, um... I wasn't the first guy she told she was pregnant when she first got pregnant. We're gonna get that out there. Well, tell me something I don't know. Yeah, the exactly. first guy, it, the, the guy that she was messing with, or a different guy, who knows, it's probably more than one guy. Never told anybody she told else them, that I was having I wasn't their the baby. first guy she told she was pregnant. She, she told the first guy first. I guess he didn't say anything or blocked her. Oh, yeah, so you feel, you're feeling like guy. it's like a process of elimination and since the other guy didn't want anything to do with her, she's putting it yeah. on you. I did not tell anyone else first before telling him. When I took my test is when I told him first. I didn't tell anyone else first. No. And he what is that you're holding? Like I have a picture of Mr. Hadley when he was a baby and my son. Let me see that evidence, please. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you, <clears throat> Jerome. Okay, what are these pictures of? That's this my is son, Mr. Jeremiah, and Mr. Hadley as a baby. Mm-hmm. Jeremiah on the left, mm-hmm. Mr. Hadley as a baby on the right. You say you see a resemblance. Yes. How about you, Mr. Hadley? I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> the nose kind of does look like... I'll give, I'll give it that. The, the eyes. So, what is his relationship like with Jeremiah? He recognizes him and, and, and is excited to see... Yes. Mr. He doesn't even have to say anything for Jeremiah to smile at him. He smiles at everybody. No, he doesn't. <laughs> yes, he does. Miss Thomas, if he's in fact determined to be your child's biological mm-hmm. father, do you want to be in a relationship with Mr. Hadley? Do you want him to stay put, stay in your home and be I... with you and your child? I don't want him to be going back and forth. He would, he can be around his daughter, but however, this back and forth, I don't trust okay, him. Okay, well, okay, what about no back and forth, but he wants to be with Miss Stallworth? Are you okay with that? Yes, he just has to take responsibility of my son. Okay, so you don't want to be in a relationship with him necessarily? I could really care less about being in a relationship at this point. It's been going on for too long, and I really don't trust that he, will, he won't be back and forth. So you think, pretty much, as long as two, you two women allow it, he will just continue to go back and forth? Yes, pretty much. I can agree with that assertion. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mr. Hadley, when you say you can't possibly be this child's father, but you admit to having sex without using protection, you understand why Ms. Thomas has reason to believe you potentially could be her child's father, right? Yes, I I understand, you know, there's a possibility, but I'm, I'm fully convinced myself that there's no... there's no way. I think it's time for the results. Jerome, I'm ready. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Thomas versus Hadley, as it pertains to seven-month-old Jeremiah Hadley, it has been determined by 
this court, Mr. Hadley, you are not his father. Oh, my God. I feel, you know, now we can move forward now and she can stop, you know, she letting... No, you gotta stop. Yes, he has to stop. Mm -hmm. uh, and listen. Yeah, you do. You all have a part to play in this. Mm -hmm. But before you start getting on your high horse, Mr. Hadley, let's be clear. You've gotta stop. Because you're going back and forth between these two women and they're letting you. That's a whole other conversation. If you keep going the way you're doing at this rate, you'll just be back up here again next year. She'll be pregnant again. Miss Stallworth be standing right here next to you talking about, I'm not gonna stay if he is. <laughs> so, Miss Thomas, ultimately, it's time for you to stop focusing on Mr. Hadley and Miss Stallworth. But you gotta focus on Jeremiah. There's a man that you say you know is his biological father, but he doesn't want anything to do with him. You need to approach that person again. Yes. And make it clear that you've had DNA testing for the other potential father and try to get a test with him as well. Okay. For your son, because he deserves to know who his father is. Mm -hmm. Now, before court is adjourned, I'm not gonna see you all back in here again. Mr. Hadley, Ms. Stallworth? Yes. I have that... No, but I do... Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. You say yes, he says no. Yes, because he had a question about our child. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have doubts, Mr. Hadley? Well, I have some, some doubts. Ms. Shands, you appear in court today because you are devastated that your first love and the person you lost your virginity to is now denying your 15-month-old son, Aiden. You say once you prove to the defendant that he is the father, you hope you two can finally be a family. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hollis, you are here with your mother and you both testify that Ms. Shands is a pathological liar and you both don't believe you fathered her son but claim to know who did. Is this correct? Yes, yes Your Honor. I've read through the court file and this is a classic case of babies having babies. I'm gonna start with you, Ms. Shans. Tell the court, what do you want to accomplish today? Today, I would like to accomplish that Amir is the father of my child. He has been in my baby life ever since my baby has been three months. He's my first love, my first kiss, my first everything. And today, I just want to know the truth about... I want to, I want to prove to him that he is the father of my child. And so, Mr. Hollis, Tell the court why you say she's a pathological liar. I caught his eye cheating so many times, like, it don't make no sense. <sighs> like, like, it's, it just... After, after middle school, like, after, when we hit high school, everything was going straight, like, her freshman year. But after that, like, when we had gotten into that one argument, we broke up, and then that was that, and she started messing with my homeboy, and she started messing with multiple people. Mm -hmm. Your Honor. Me and his was close friends once before. They was, but they used she to... She used to come back and tell me that Mr. Amir, he was messing with one of my friends. <laughs> I don't, I don't and know. And we hands. both, we both were young at the time. We both were young, so... Both y'all young now? Yeah, we still are young. <laughs> <laughs> we still are young. But, but I thought it was cool to go mess with one of his friends because he has slept with one of mine. We both had made a mistake. No, no. We both made no, a mistake. That's not yeah, how it is. is. No one knows. All right. All right. That's All right. Not... This is really what went on. All, all of them would be at my house every weekend. His friend, that's the other guy that she messed around with, and they would be there all the time. And I was there one weekend. I was off. And she was going to the store. She said, um, c come on, best friend. That, but that's supposed to be his best friend. Come on, best friend, let's go to the store. I said, what did... I told him, I said, where they do that at? I said, he your best friend, he her best friend, too. Like, I knew about the whole best friend thing, but, like, now that they done slept around on me, like, I don't know, like, they probably were doing it then. They were. Like, back when they, they were best friends. I believe they no. were. 
No. I believe they were. No. no. Oh. I no. told him no, no, they no, were. No, no, no. All right. No. No. This is exactly you. why you all need to be just out playing a sport, learning a craft. <laughs> yes. This just sounds about silly. So, you have revenge sex it's with one lot. of his friends. And did you use protection? No. And then, how many times did you have sex with this friend of his? Multiple times. Multiple times. But were you also still being intimate with Mr. Hollis? Well, we had we broke had, up. We had broke up. When me and his friend had an affair, we wasn't together. We was not together at all. An affair. <laughs> <laughs> so, eventually, you find out you're pregnant. Take me to that day. She, my godmother, she, we used to be on the porch, like, just, when you, she, when she was doing people hair, we used to be on the porch, she was like, you pregnant, you pregnant. I used to be like, stop jinxing me, stop jinxing me. And one day I went to the clinic and I found out I was five months pregnant. Five months? Five months. So you didn't even know enough about your body to know you were pregnant. <clears throat> so you find out you're five months pregnant. What happens? Who do you tell? Um, well, first I told his friend, because that's the person I was going with at the time, we ended up going out. So the friend you cheated that on him with, matter. and the next that, thing you know, y'all end up... Excuse me, y'all. Yes, that, 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 what she out. said don't matter. When, when she was going with my friend, she was still sneaking around with me anyway, because <sighs> he, I felt like he did it to me, so y'all together, I'm finna go and do, do what I gotta do. Yes. Okay, yeah, that did happen as well. So you were sleeping with both boys at the same time? Yes, ma'am. All right. You find out you're pregnant. You tell the other guy first. What was his response? Well, he was happy. He was happy. And so you also tell Mr. Hollis? I told him, like, not as soon as I got pregnant. He ended up finding out on the streets. But I, I ended up I telling found, him. I, I ended up telling him. I ended up telling him. And I ended up... He, I guess he ended up telling his mom as well. And I was telling them that it's a possibility that it can be him or the friend. I never told the friend that it can be a possibility with another guy. I only told his mother that it can be a possibility with another guy. Mm -hmm. I and never why'd told you the make other that guy. choice? Because I don't she know. Knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. Miss Shans, when you give birth, who was with you? The friend was with me when Aiden was born. In the hospital. In the hospital. In At labor. In labor. And my mom, I sent my mom there because I knew there was a possibility that my son could be the dad as well. He favored my son when he was born. So, wait, and, and so, Mr. Hollis, you just didn't want to be there or you felt like you weren't invited? <laughs> oh, I wasn't never invited. Like, anything I ever found out about the baby, I found out about myself. Like, I ain't even know she was in labor. I had to find that out. Like, I was walking out of Fort Pierce, somebody came to me and said, Desire had her baby, da 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 I ain't even know she was in labor. I ain't even know she was in a hospital. I ain't know. Like, when she first got in labor, I ain't know. So, Miss Shans, if the other guy was at the birth, why are you now saying Mr. Hollis is the baby's father? Because, like, he... My baby looked... had more futures than him than the other guy. Yes, he did. More he looked... He did not look I'm none just trying like to the other guy son. at all. I, um... I, I, um, FaceTimed her and told her that it looked like my... I said, um, Aiden looks like a mirror. And what did she say, Mom? Um, it's, it's a possibility. <laughs> so you admitted that it was a possibility? Really? <laughs> yes, Your Honor, I did admit that it was a possibility. Okay, so from that point, when you decide the baby looks more like Mr. Hollis, does the other guy sign the birth certificate? No, he didn't have his ID at the time. That's, that's why he didn't sign it. He wasn't intending on signing it. At what point do you just say, you know what, I don't think you're the father, I think Mr. Hollis is my child's father? Do you ever have that conversation? Do you ever just come clean? With the friend? Yes. No, I never even talked to him about it. So to this day, the other person doesn't know that Mr. Hollis could be Aiden's biological father? He hears it off the streets, because everybody on the streets they tell him that the baby look him. like Aiden, the baby look like a mirror, the baby is. look like a mirror. He think he is child. But in his mind, he's running around the streets. 
<laughs> saying, this is my baby. They're yes, beefing no. over it. That him and my son is, is beefing over it. Beefing over it? Yeah, they got into it. We got into it a few times, to my son. Like, it's not no beef. He ain't no beef with me no more. Like, I, I, I let the whole thing go. Like, the whole thing. But it was a bunch of mess. I can't tell you why songs about it. What you mean? He made a song, Your Honor, and it specifically says, about a year ago, I fell in love with a thought. That's what it says. <laughs> and I can see that you didn't appreciate that, Michelle. No, it hurted me. Like, when I heard the song at first, especially the first song, I forgot how, I forgot how it started, but he put my name in it, the friend name in it, but he erased it and changed it to a whole different... different words. And then he came out with the... I and Love we have thought. some of the lyrics to that song. <laughs> and I can't be cuffing Columbus Ho. About a year ago, I was in love with a thought. <laughs> it just keeps getting worse. Worse. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Miss Yana. And it was another a video that went viral. It went viral. He made a little song. It got me and his picture in the background. Oh, yeah. It got me and his picture in the background. He said, you, you better not trust her. She gonna come back to me. Your Honor, first of all, <laughs> that was after the fact she made a video about me first while I was <sighs> at school. So. No. Made a video? <laughs> yeah, no. They been making videos about no. each other. After she made one of me first. <laughs> no. no. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, I'm sitting here. I feel like you two need to be going to detention, yeah. not to fraternity court. <laughs> I mean, just listening to the stories, the grammar alone <laughs> is just about to take me out. <laughs> You know, really and truly, you know, you know um, the reason why I really want this over with to find out is this eight, is Aiden he is or not, because he, like I say, him and the boy was beefing and all of that, and I don't need him getting killed yeah. over there like that. Yeah. That's how his father lost his life, and I would hate for that to happen to him. Yeah. And see, you know, Mom, I appreciate your honesty, and I, and I understand I'm a mom of a boy, and I, and I get the fear. And, 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 it, and what's so scary is, at the end of the day, you just kids. Yes. But you're making people, because you're engaging in adult activities, sex, and now you're getting yourself caught up. Mr. Hollis, what kind of relationship do you have with Aiden? Mm, it's a real strong relationship. Like, I got attached, like, real fast. I can't even... He love me. Yeah. <laughs> like, every time I come around. <laughs> so, you have a real bond with this baby. Miss Shans, has this other guy developed a relationship with Aiden as well? Not as really. Like, when Aiden see Amir, they have a little thing, like, <laughs> at each other. Like, they do it... Cut. Like, every time he see him, like, he can get on FaceTime with Amir, he be like, ah! But every time he be with the other guy, he, like, he don't really be stun him. He never showed the, the attention that he showed to Amir that he shows to the other guy. And Miss Hollis, I mean, you say you tried to back off, but I can see in this picture, you got the grandma face all over. <laughs> <laughs> so you fall in love with the baby as well. Yes, but I just don't, you know, I don't want to find out later on that, you know, I'd rather just get it over. If it is, it is. If it isn't, it is. But I still love him. I can see that. Mm -hmm. It just brings tears to your eyes to mm -hmm. see him. Aiden is a child. He didn't. He can't. He can't make no decisions for himself. You know, this don't. This not his fault. No, it is not. Miss Shans. Mm -hmm. Yes, Your Honor. And as you stated earlier, you really want to be with Mr. Hollis. Yes, Your Honor. And you want to raise Aiden with him. Yes, Your Honor. They not being but the no truth girls. is, you have absolutely <laughs> no clue who Aiden's biological father is. All right. 
Well, we have the results, and I think that's the only way we're going to figure out how we move forward is to get the truth. Jerome, may I have the envelope? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Shans versus Hollis, when it comes to 15-month-old Aiden Shans, it has been determined by this court Mr. Hollis, you are not the father. I see tears in your eyes, Ms. Shans, because I know how desperately you wanted Mr. Hollis to be Aiden's biological father. Their families formed a bond with your son. But unfortunately, now, we know the truth. Yeah. You're a beautiful young woman, but I do not like the way you've been operating. Or you, Mr. Hollis. None of you. And maybe you don't have anybody. And, and listen, sometimes you don't have that person to just sit you down and say, no, that's not what you do. And you get yourself, that's what I don't like about all this little social media stuff. You post something and then everybody, yeah, girl, yeah, this mm -hmm. and all this, I yeah. Hate and it. they will yeah you straight to mediocrity. <laughs> and you will not realize your potential as a young woman or a young man listening to these people online try to legitimize this nonsense track you on. 